These hologram reels are exploding on Instagram right now. You probably are wondering, how can I make this myself? Well, I'm here to tell you that is pretty simple. In fact, it will only take you about five minutes to do so. And how do I know that? Well, just a week ago, I made a similar reel myself and it got over 200,000 views and over 5,000 saves. So if you want to learn how to do this slick looking hologram for your Instagram reels, stay with me for five minutes to find it out. Okay, so this is the video I'm gonna be making today. And to make this, I'm gonna be using a software called Adobe Premiere Pro. And for those that want to get Adobe Premiere Pro, the whole Creative Cloud Suite, including Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, and more, click the link in my description or in the first pinned comment to get an extra discount and also support the channel. With that being said, let's get started. So first things first, I need to record my phone screen so I can have an actual footage for the hologram. So I'm gonna grab my phone and start recording my screen and I will go to the Reels section on Instagram. And what I do is I simply gonna scroll really fast as you can see, and I'm gonna record a really long footage to use for the actual hologram. After that's done, simply transfer the footage to your computer. If you have Mac and iPhone, obviously Obviously just doing an airdrop. If you are on the Windows PC, just use Google Drives to save the quality of the footage. All right, cool. So I open up my Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have all the footage ready. If you're gonna be doing this hologram effect type reel, I would highly recommend it to make it congruent. So what I did is I filmed myself scrolling on my phone, as you can see in this video right here right so the hologram effect is gonna appear somewhere there we're gonna try to make it as clean as possible to compact as possible right i would highly recommend you to have uh, yourself scrolling because it's gonna be more congruent with the overall message instead of you just sitting and you know the hologram is appearing out of nowhere so it makes more sense so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add the screen recording i made that i showed you previously so this is this actual screen recording that i showed you the one that I made. First things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the scale a little bit to maybe 50 right now at the start. I'm gonna find a place where I start scrolling. Of course, I don't wanna add it from here. So I'm gonna find the place where I immediately start scrolling. So let's see here, I'm gonna click letter C, I'm gonna cut it right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna speed it up, right? We want it to go really fast. Like be scrolling like maniacs or something so let's click right button of the mouse and then we go to speed and duration and increase the speed to maybe 500 let's see let's see how fast it goes yeah that's that's perfectly fine it's really fast let's drag it over here and let's remove this part and just leave it for the intro like that. And there you have it, the hologram. I'm joking, of course, it's it's not finished. Like it's it's not finished at all. Like Okay, so we have this part, which is essentially our hologram that we're gonna be using. Now, what I want you to do is, assuming you are already on the effects panel, make sure you, if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, you are on uh, the effects panel, it's really important. Go and write 3D and select basic 3d this one and drag it over right here awesome 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 now these are the settings we're gonna be using the swivel is gonna be 30 30 tilt is gonna be minus 7 and the distance to image is gonna be minus 7 all right of course it's a little bit too big uh, let's decrease the scale a little bit to maybe 35 let's arrange the position right here and right here now let's see how it looks i'm also gonna add some multiple things to make this video look much better so so first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease the opacity to 70 right here you just select a hologram clip and decrease opacity to 70 so it looks more faded it looks like it's you know it's blending in what you can also do is you can leave opacity 100 and you can go to blend mode and you can select um screen right here but it's a little bit too wide for me i don't know maybe you're gonna like it more but for me it's a little bit wide it's essentially it blends with everything so if you zoom in what you can see is that other things appear it's kind of like blends and fades i don't know like to be honest when i'm looking like that it looks it looks dope i like it another thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make it animated so i want this 
transition this hologram to kind of like turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and on the swivel effect, going to select this little button right here for the animation. going to go to all the way to here and increase it to, let's say, 35. And now drag it over, drag this one to the end. And this is what it looks like now. You see it's moving. Let's zoom in so you can see it better. Like if you look right now, you're going to see this. It's turning slowly. Okay, so to make this hologram pop, we need to add some color grading on my video, right? On myself. So the darker footage of me is going to make that hologram pop much more. Uh, essentially, I have my preset that I use on my adjustment layer. This one, I'm going to do some modifications, but not too much. And you can find the preset and other things in the description. Um, there's going to be free Instagram masterclass as well. And there's going to be a link to this preset. So as you can see, with preset, it looks like this. Without a preset, it looks like this. With preset, it looks like this. To make this look more unique and professional, sometimes I use these cool looking transitions. So what you can do, you can find these transitions, I think they're called color leaks. And essentially what you do is, this is like the color leak uh, video. You get it, it's, it's like you can download it from YouTube and stuff. It's like a long video of these different color leaks as you can see, right? So what you would do is you would add the color leak footage you increase the size so it matches your uh, sequence your ratio you select the place of the color leak that you want and you go over to the blend mode again and you select screen again right like that and you move it to the point where the new footage the new visuals start so for this example it would look like this and it'll go like that you see, actually re-engages the audience after the hook, after your intro, and looks much, much better. So once you finish with the video, it's really, really important to make sure that you have a really good exporting settings. Otherwise, your hologram is going to look really bad, right? Like overall, the whole video is going to look bad. So select um, the places you want to render by clicking the letter O and the letter I. So and drag it to the start and drag it here to the end of the video, just like that. Go to export right here. Make sure to select the preset mobile device 2160p 4K and click match source. And you're ready to go over and export the video. For those that want to take their Instagram game to the next level, and actually learn how to go viral and grow a massive audience, I created a completely free Instagram training, which is going to be linked as the first link in this video description, as well as in the pinned comment under this video. And if you enjoyed this one, you're going to definitely enjoy this video where I review your Instagram pages. Make sure to click here and watch it right away. That being said, thank you so much for watching, guys.